Hello, Bridge of Hope, coming to you today from the farm. Just wanted to reach out and share a devotional for you and just a, an encouraging word. I had uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 9 on my heart today. And it reads, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you have learned and received and heard and saw in me do, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. I love that God tells us to be anxious for nothing to set anxiety aside. In order for God to tell us to be anxious for nothing means that we have the power within ourselves and God through praying to him and getting in his presence and trusting in him and having faith in his word to not have to be anxious. Again, we don't have to live in anxiety or be anxious for anything, including the coronavirus or its effects. But he said, in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, our prayer time should not just be a list of God protect us from the coronavirus and provide for our families, but we should be thanking God. Thank you, Lord, for provision. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for all that you've done for us. So our prayers right now should not just be requests to God. They should be just filled with thanksgiving for all the wonderful things God has done for us. Then he goes on to say, let your request be made known unto God after we have thanksgiving for him, to him. And he said, in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. That word surpasses there means over and above. And the gnats are everywhere today. Over and above. It means it goes beyond our understanding. Did you know that you can have such peace in times like this that goes beyond what your mind can even understand? And then let me get to the good part. He says... Let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I did a little word study on the word guard there. Will keep your hearts and minds. Will guard your hearts and minds. So the, so the Bible says when we come before him with thanksgiving, we praise him, we worship him, we pray to him, then we'll let our requests be known, and the peace of God that goes far beyond our understanding will guard our hearts and minds. It will protect us. Well, that word guard in the Greek means to be a watcher in advance, a mount guard as a sentinel. As a matter of fact, Thayer defines it as to guard, to protect by a military guard, either to prevent hostile invasion or to keep the inhabitants of a besieged city from flight. In other words, God promised in his word that his peace would guard. I want you to imagine uh, an army guarding a city, an, a, a sentinel guarding a group of people. He said his peace would guard us, would protect us like a military does a city or a nation. I want to encourage you this today, uh, Bridge of Hope, that you can go to the presence of God and God will mount his peace all around you and guard you from the worries and the cares and the anxieties of this world. Isn't God wonderful? Be blessed by that today. Get in your prayer closet. Get in your word. Get in the presence of God. And let his peace guard your heart, mind, and soul in Christ Jesus. God bless you.